Ciao besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Viviana and today I cannot do this. It's too hot to think straight. Happy Pride! So yeah, apparently summer is here a little earlier than usual and yeah, I thought that today we could try to fight the heat a little bit and design something together. The brand that we're gonna design today is actually a brief that I just posted for my creative challenge that I host on Instagram, The Creative Besties. The Creative Besties is a brief challenge where I post a brief every week and anyone is welcome to join. So yeah, today I'm gonna bring you with me into my process and show you how I I usually design my fashion projects and how I prepare them for Instagram because lately I've been presenting my work in a specific way and people seem to love it so I'm very excited to show you how I do it now of course um, we do not talk about Instagram changing the feed let's not even address that because it's a whole thing so if you're not familiar with the challenge the brief that I posted this week was for a iced tea brand called Giallo. Giallo with a J. Giallo is Italian for yellow but with a G, not a J. But I thought that I could spice it up a little bit and uh, create a cute name. So this is exactly what we're gonna design today. I'm gonna work on the logo suite and then on some mockups and then on the Instagram presentation. I have already gathered some inspiration from Pinterest and I have a mood board ready so we're all set to start the design process. Everything that you're gonna see today is gonna be sourced from Envato Elements. Envato Elements is a creative library with up to 59 million assets and I think it is amazing to have for creatives or designers. If you want to try out their service first you can check out the first link in my description. They have a seven days free trial and I would really suggest that like my life has changed ever since I got Envato. So yeah let's jump to Adobe Illustrator let's get designing. So here we are on Adobe Illustrator as you can see I have already made a mood board for this project. I really like where this is going. I decided to take a different route with the colors because usually when when it comes to tea there's a lot of yellow of course but there's also like a little green a little blues I kind of wanted to take the design another way so instead of going that way I chose like some warmer colors like the shades of yellow and orange are warmer and I also chose this lilac that I think is gonna be so cute because I want to do like a gradient and I think it could work like really well together and as for the type as you know I love manipulating typography so there's definitely gonna be that you know I wanted to use like a cool like slick font I don't know I have already some fonts that I've looked at and yeah let's move on to that obviously I could not do any of this without actually drinking some iced tea so yeah so these are the fonts that I've chosen and from my mood board I already know that for example the first two are not gonna be like what I'm looking for and then here we have these two these two are really similar I like the J in this font here called Roebuck I don't know maybe the font is too like simple I'm looking at this one and I'm in love with this A that curve on the A kind of reminds me of a lemon or even just a leaf I don't know it kind of adds a little bit of something to the type so I think yeah we're gonna go with this one. <laughs> Let's start seeing what we can do. The first thing that I'm thinking is that all these letters are like very thin and tall, except for the two L's. Let's see if I take away these two and then maybe I do this. Does it look like an L? I think it does. You know, of course these two L's, like we need to do something with them, but I don't know why. If you're curious to know how I manipulate typography, you can check out my latest video here where I teach you all about it. So, I'm grabbing the pencil tool and the first thing that I'm thinking is maybe doing this. I want to like connect them in a cool way. Um, wait, <laughs> bear with me a second. I'm having an idea but I, I need to sketch it. Oh my god. I never do this but I think I need to sketch this idea. Sometimes I have these ideas and I just need to get them out of my head, even if they're not gonna be exactly that when I do them. I wanna create some sort of movement and shape that is coming out of one L and going into the other, almost like a drink in a glass. Okay, I, I got this. Now let's recreate this here. Okay, kind of something like this. What I want to do actually is, of course, show a little bit of this curve better. Let's do offset pass. Okay, now this is what I'm talking about. I don't know, I, I like this. Let's add some effects 
because as you know i always do it yeah i love like this movement that the logo has now but i want to add a little something a little text saying like fresh lemon tea and i'm actually going to use this font here called obviously because it's literally one of my favorite fonts like ever it's my brand font and i think it looks pretty good with this font oh yeah oh yeah it does look good but of course we are not doing just the logo we should do also a logo mark what i wanted to do kind of write the same text but i want the type to go like into the curve like something like this and i don't know why but this like text like this kind of reminds me of lemon why don't we do like a small illustration that's not like really an illustration but something like just some line work nothing too crazy It looks so cool. I love it. Oh my god. I'm gonna work on another variation of the logo and then I will be right back. I worked on another variation of the logo. I just put basically this illustration into the domain logo. I think we have a logo suite and uh, we are ready to move on to the mockups. Okay, so this is what we're gonna use for packaging and mockups. Of course, we are not doing actual packaging. We don't have a die line. So we're just gonna work around the mockups that we have. I will put everything on mockups and I will be right back. These three mockups are gonna be in our presentation and now let's go back to Adobe Illustrator to show you how I do them. Here we are, everything that we're gonna need for the presentation. I do seamless carousels, which are an amazing way to show your work, I think. It seems kind of hard and I thought that it was hard at the beginning, but it actually is pretty easy. I'm gonna add just a fifth artboard to show you how I do it. So. You just go here and click artboard and then I simply just copy the artboard and put it here. Of course, on Illustrator you have guidelines. You just zoom in then and check. Now we have our five artboards and uh, I already know where I'm gonna be placing them because I have chosen the mockups based on how I wanted the presentation to look like. For example, this mockup here, I know that it has a hand. So I know that it has to be at the very end of the carousel. So we're gonna put it here. I wanna put this one here because I always like to put the images in between the artboards. So you have to kind of scroll to see the entire thing. I don't know, I think it makes the carousel more engaging. And uh, usually, of course, you don't have to pack your carousels with all these mockups. You just have to find some things to fill out the gaps, you know? In this case, we're gonna use everything that we have created for the logo suite to kind of fill in the gaps. Okay, so now let's add the background and I'm gonna add, of course, the gradient as well. And then, of course, we're gonna fill in the gaps with the logo suite. So we're gonna put this one here and we can make it as big as we want because my intention with this is to kind of put the mockups over it even if it's like this it works like perfectly in my opinion i love and i am obsessed with the fact that the mockups go over and that's why you have to use pngs when it comes to this you have to save the pictures as pngs and then you can do all of this and then we're gonna put this one here oh my god i already love it can you see it now let's put in this mockup here and i want to do it because i want to use something to break the gradient but i don't want it to look again like a separate photos i still want it to look like it's part of the presentation so what i usually do is add like some sort of illustration or something taking it of course from the logo suite and the branding i do something like this for example i just put something that connects the two pictures so that people know that that it's gonna be the beginning of an actual presentation you know this is the actual view of what you're gonna see and i think this looks amazing honestly doing like an extended seamless carousel makes everything look so professional so good i have gotten so many compliments from people ever since i started doing this so once you have this like you are ready to go so here we have it we have designed an entire branding together i don't know about you but now i'm craving even more iced tea as usual i have put together a presentation for you so let's meet Jago. I 
hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, let me know in the comments and push the like button. If you like videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel first of all and then binge watch all my design videos in my playlist called Design With Me. You can follow me on all my social media and don't forget to check out Embato Elements. You're gonna find all the links in the description box below. If you have made it to this part of the video, of course, drop a lemon emoji in the comments. Do we have a nice tea emoji? If there is, let me know and comment that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again in another video next week. Ciao!